Yeah, I want to multiply fraction by fraction. Oh, your video is not there. Maybe something is blocking the video. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, good. Now, the first one says 4 over 3 times 27 over 20. So, to do this, we need to check the denominators and the numerators and see if there is anything that is a factor that can divide any number above and can also divide any number below. 4 can divide 20. So I can say 4 here, 1, and 4 in 20 is 5. Are you watching this? Yes. Okay, put your video on. <laughs> then I have 3 at the bottom and I have 27 at the top. So I can still use 3 and 27. So 3 in 3 is 1. 3 in 27 is 9. So what I have at the top now is 1 times 9, which is 9. And what I have at the bottom now is 1 times 5, which is 5. But this is improper fraction. So I will leave it at a proper fraction by saying how many 5 is it 9? That's 1 remainder 4 over 5. Is this clear to you? Yeah, I got that. I got the answer. Okay, got the answer to this one. That's very good. Yeah, put on your video. Uh, I think something went off or something. Oh. Yeah. Then number two, we're looking at number two now, the second one. We say six over four times 15 over nine. So again, we're going to look at both numerator and the denominator and see if there is a factor that is common, okay? Okay. Three can divide 15 and 9, and 3 can also divide 6 and 9. So I can choose any one. So if I choose to use 15 and 9, I divide them both by uh, 3, okay? Yeah. Then how many 3 is in this 15? This is going to be 5. And how many 3 is in 9? This is going to be 3, okay? Okay. Now, again, look at the top and the bottom. I have 3 at the top, I mean 6 at the top, then 3 at the bottom. So 3 can still divide 6, okay? Mm. So 3 divide 3, give me 1. And 3 divide 6, give me 2, okay? Mm. Then if you still look carefully at the top and bottom, you will see that 2 can divide 4, yes or no? Yes. So 2 divides here, 1. 2 divides here, 2. So what do I have remaining at the top? Only 1 and 5, which gives me 5, okay? Mm -hmm. What do I have at the bottom? 2 and 1, which gives me 2. And again, this is improper fraction. So we're going to have, how many 2 is in 5? That is 2, remainder 1, or 2. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, don't write yet. Let's just look at everything together. Then, once we are through, you will put them down so you can get a full explanation. Then number three says five over three times eight over two. Of course, eight over two is just four, yes or no? Yes. Then I have no issue with that. All I would just say is that since eight can be divided by two, I will say five over three times four because eight over two is four right yeah then nothing can divide themselves again so i'll multiply the number at the top by the top then the one at the bottom by the bottom so what is five times four that's 20. and what is three times one that's three then this is improper fraction okay okay so how many three can i see in 20. that is six which is 18. remainder two over three this becomes my final answer is this clear to you? What did you say? Is this clear to you? Do you understand this? 
Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, do you understand this? Or I should explain it again. Mm, okay, clear. now look at this. This is 8 divided by 2, right? Yeah. And what is 8 divided by 2? 4. That's where I got 4 over 1, okay? Like 2 here, 1, 2 here, 4, okay? Okay. Then what is 5 times 4? 20. And 3 times 1? Three. So I have 20 over 3. Then, how many 3 is in 20? That is 6, because 3 times 6 is 18. So if I remove 18, I have 2 left, okay? Okay. Good. Let's look at number 4. For number 4, hold on, let me try that again. Number 4. Number four says 14 over 33, okay? Times 99 over 56. Now, check the top and the bottom. Is there any number that can divide a number at the top and can also divide a number at the bottom? Which number can we use? 33 and 19. Okay, which number are we going to use? Okay, 33 can divide 99, right? Yeah. Okay, 33 here, 1, 33 here, 3. That's correct, right? Yeah. Though we could have used 11, right? You know, 11 can divide 33 and 11 can divide 99, right? Yeah. But we will still need to divide further. So it's good as we have used 33. Which number again can we use to divide 14 and 56? And of course, 14 can divide 14, 1, and 14 here is 4, okay? Okay. So what do I have at the top now? 1 and 3, which is 3. What do I have at the bottom? 1 and 4, which is 4. So this is a proper fraction. I don't need to do anything. You know, 1 times 3 is 3, right? Yeah. And 1 times 4 is what? Okay. Okay. Good. Then, hope you're not writing. Just listen, okay? Okay. Yeah. So, number five, which is the last one, we have 10 over 24 times 40 over 36. So, what number can I use to divide from above and can also divide below? Um, check the numerators and check the denominators. Is there, um, is there a number above and below that a particular number can divide both of them? 10, 40, 24, and 36. Uh, wait, wait. You know what I'm saying is that check this number. Is there anything that is common to it above and below so that maybe if I divide this with a number, that same number can divide any of these. Or, check this number. Is there anything common below that a number that can divide 40 can also divide any of these? If you want to try, you can use... Um, four okay. times three. Yeah, you can use eight, right? Yeah. So if you use eight to divide 40, what will you have? Five. Five. Then, eight can also divide 24, yes or no? Yes. So if I decide to use 8, I'm going to have 8 here, 5, 8 here, 3. Are you watching this? Yes. Then what number can I use to divide them again? Between 10 and 36, I can use 2. 2 here, 5, 2 here, 18. So no number is common again, right? Yeah. So what's at the top? Twenty-five and five. Or That's 20. twenty-five, right? Yes. What's at the bottom? Three and eighteen, which is fifty-four. 
okay? Okay. And nothing is common to 25 and 54. That becomes your answer. Is that clear now? Yes. Okay, very good. So I'll give you some time to write this down. Then I will give you some more to try, okay? All right, so write it down. So, to continue, we have the first, I mean, we want to look at more examples now. More examples. So, number one, say so we have 1 over 5 times 2 over 3. You can see that there is nothing common at the numerator side and denominator side right yeah so i'll just say one times two gives me two and five times three gives me 15 and that's my answer because i can't reduce it for that okay so let's check number two three over seven times one over two again nothing is common to them so i'll just multiply the numerators and the denominators okay and that's 3 over what? 14. Please don't write. Please just listen, okay? So we have 8 over 15 here. Look at this one. 8 over 15 times 5 over 6. Now, check the numerators and denominator. Is there anything that can divide a number above and can also divide a number below? Is there any number? 15 and 5. 15 and 5, okay. 5 here, 1, and 5 here, 3. What else can divide a number above and can divide a number below? Um, 6 and 8. Yeah, what number can we use to divide 6 and 8? 2. 2, very good. So 2 here and two here three is it clear now yes then what do i have at the top four times one which is four, four. what do i have at the bottom three is nine. nine that's that's it so let's look at another one then after a few examples i'm going to give you what to try just make sure you concentrate so number four i have one over five one over five times 10 over 11. Is there any number common to all of them? No. So, yeah, that's good. So 5 here, 1, 5 here, 2. So what remains? 1 and 2 at the top, right? Yeah. And 1 and 11 at the bottom. So which is 2 over 11, right? Yeah. Okay, good. It means you are getting it. So number five, I have five over eight times one over four. So is there any number common to both top and bottom? There is none, okay? Okay. So just multiply. So what do we have? Five over what? 32. And we cannot, you know, reduce it. Because nothing is common. There's no factor that is common to 5 and 32. If it is 6 over 32, we can reduce it, right? Yeah. That would be 3 over 16, right? Yeah. But we but it's not, so definitely we can't reduce it further. Then number six. For number six, I have 5 over 12. Over 12. And this is 5 over 12 times. 3 over 10. Is there any number that is common that can divide something above and below? 5 and 10. Okay, 5 here, 1, 5 here, 2. What else? 12 and 3. Okay, 3 here, 1, 3 here, 4. Anything else? No. So what's at the top now? 
one over eight, right? Yes. And that is correct. So let's look at a few more examples before I give you what to try. Number seven. For number seven, I have five over 12 times six over 15. So what number can divide himself from top to bottom? Um, 12 and six. Okay, what can I use? Three, yeah, two, three, here, four, what else? Five and fifteen. Five year one and five year three. Anything else? No. What about two and four? I could have used six and twelve, but I purposely left it that way. Okay. Okay. So two year one, two year two. Just like say six year one, six year two. Okay. Okay. So finally, we have one over six. Is that clear? Yes. Yeah. So number eight. Number eight. We have three over ten and two over nine. Three over ten times two over nine. Okay. So what number is common that can divide both of them above and below? Nine and three. Good. Three here. One. Three here. Three. What else? Ten. Two. two here, one, two here, five. So what do I have now? One over... Fifteen. Fifteen. And number nine, we have three over ten and five over six. Three over ten times five over six. So what do I have now? Um, what can divide is. themselves? We can need six and three. So three year one, three year two. What else? Ten and five. So five year one, five year two. Let me cut that five so it doesn't look like eight. So five year one and five year two. Is that clear? Yeah. So what do I have finally? One over four. One over four. So we look at one more before I give you what to do. So the one I want to look at is um, 11. Okay, one over five and one over two. One over five times one over two. So is there anything come on? Nice. So what do we have now? One over one over ten. Good. Okay, so I'll give you some time to write this down, then I'll give you class work, okay? Okay. All right. Let me see. Yeah, looking at this submission, I discovered some things that uh, you did not reduce most of them or some of them is not reduce them to lowest form okay okay let's look at number one. Oh, i think i need a brighter color so number one yeah. says 11 over 10 times 10 over 22 as you can divide by 10 okay to have 11 over 22, you can also divide by 10, right? Yeah. 11 here, two. Oh. Now you get it. So this is 1 over 2, okay? Okay. Mm, and I think I see one more like that or something, but let's continue first. So number 2 says what? 4 over 7 times 5 over 16. So, 4 can divide 16, then we have 1 here and 4 here. So, we now have 1 times 5 is 5, and this is 7 times 4 is what? 28. So, you forgot to write your 4a and multiply. 
comply with them, okay? Okay. Is that clear? Yes, sir. So you should always cross-check to see that uh, they are correctly done. Then number three, let's check it. Nine over 25 times five over 18. So nine can divide 18, this is two, and the five can divide 25, this is five. So I'm gonna have one times one, that's one, five times two less than, so this one is correct, okay? Okay. So that's gonna be uh, one over 10, right? Yeah. Okay, number four, let's check number four. Five, over 12 times 9 over 15. The first observation is 5 can divide 15. Then the next observation is that 3 can divide 9 and uh, 12, okay? Okay. So 3 here, 3, and 3 here, 4. Of course, you will see 3 can also divide 3 here, right? Yes. So we have... 3 here 1 and 3 here 1. So what is left? 1 times 1 at the top, that's 1. And 4 times 1 at the bottom, that's 4. Okay? Okay. So you should have gotten 1 over 4 because 3 over 12 is still 1 over 4. Okay? Okay. Uh -huh. So let's take note of that. Then number 5. So for number five, we have um, seven over eighteen times two over three. So two can divide here, that's nine, and nothing can divide again, so that's seven over twenty-seven, okay? Okay, sir. Oh, but you said let me see. You got is it is this seven over nine? Yes. Mm -mm. It should be uh, seven over twenty-seven. Okay. Because you still multiply with a three. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Then number six. We have six over fourteen. Mm -hmm times 7 over 8. Okay, something can divide itself, which is 7 here 1, 7 here 2. And uh, 2 is common to 6 and 8, or whether 6 and so, 6 here, 2 here, 3, 2 here, 1, okay? Then we have 3 times 1 at the top, which is 3. We have 8 at the bottom, which is 3 over 8. Then the next one, which is going to be seven, we have three over 15 times five over nine. So three and nine, then five and 15, three here, one, three here, three, then for the five, five here one and five here three. Okay. Okay. So we have one over nine. What did you get there? One over nine. Okay. You always write your one like one so that it doesn't look like seven. Okay. Okay. Mm, just a stroke is enough once it's your handwriting. Then number eight, which is the last question. We have one over 10 times 10 over 17. So if 10 cancel 10, what do we have left? Uh, that should be one seven. over 17, right? Right? Yeah. So you now multiplied, you wrote 10 over 170 without Cast in it, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I'm going to send this page to you so that you can put down the correction, okay? okay. I'll also send you like five questions to try as a work. So that's where we're running up for 